And now it's time to introduce the players. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the players for the second quarterfinal game this afternoon here in the Assembly Hall. First, the Oak Forest Bengals. Number 13, Junior Cherry Gallo. Number 21, freshman Peggy Egan. Number 23, junior Kathy Egan. Number 25, senior Pam Cleary. Number 31, junior Debbie Martello. Number 33, senior Debbie Sopko. Number 35, sophomore Mary Stack. And now, the starting lineup for Oak Forest. Number 43, at forward, 5'11", junior, Sue Galcantis. Number 41, at forward, 6'1", senior, Nancy Galcantis. Number 45, at center, 6'2", senior, Karen Stack. Number 11 at guard, 5'6", senior, Tammy Sender. Number 15 at guard, 5'6", junior, Margaret Hearn. And the coach of the Oak Forest Bengals, Sandy Ryder. And now, here are the cheerleaders for the Bengals. Here are the players for the Limestone Rockets. In quarterfinal game of yesterday in which Oak Forest defeated Limestone 70 to 67 in overtime. Oak Forest is located 105 five miles north of Champaign, Urbana. The Bengals can battle back now. Plenty of time, minute 53 to go in the ball game. High post to Gal Canis in the middle. She's alone and scores it. She got what an upset this would be. Pass intercepted. Calcantis nearly joined our coverage team here at courtside. Underneath, the shot is good and up by Nancy Galcantis. Right side to Hearn. Sue Galcantis turns in the lane, puts up an eight-footer. Uh, Sue Galcantis, top of the key, passing off, baseline, Hearn. I imagine the key here, Ann Finstone, is that front line, which averages over six feet for Oak Forest. Very proud of my daughter. I can not believe that. How, how many games have you seen this year? I saw every one of their basketball games. I didn't miss any of them. They have a very nice team, don't they? Really a nice team. They have a tall team, and uh, I think they got a real good chance of winning this afternoon. It was a little close yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, th that's why I can't talk too loud today, because <laughs> I'm hoarse. <laughs> how about you? How's your voice? Okay. Tell me about yourself. How old are you? Twelve. You play basketball? Yes. Are you better than your sister? No. No way. Well, that's, listen, I like an honest man, no question about it. You play basketball, what else do you play? Uh, baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Uh-huh. Still in grade school, junior high, what is it? Junior high. Junior high. Looking forward to high school? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to be when you grow up and get as, be as big as your father? Probably basketball player. Basketball player. No bad thing. That'll be fine. Tell me about the rest of your family. Well, I have Charlie here, and then I have a son, James, who goes to Thornton Junior College, and he's thinking of going to DeKalb next year, the college. What do you do, sir? I work for Northern Illinois Gas Company out of uh, near Chicago Heights, Glenwood, Illinois. Having fun down here? Oh, lots of fun. I just enjoyed this tremendously. I'm so happy my daughter's down here playing today. Yeah. Who's more nervous, you and the rest of the family or your daughter? I think I'm the nervous one here. <laughs> Yesterday I was walking around and uh, just in a turmoil. <laughs> Listen, your voice is all right. It's warming up. You'll be okay for the game. Pleasure talking to you, gentlemen, and thank you very much for coming by. Good luck to your ball club this afternoon. Thank you very and much. And good luck to your daughter. Thank, thank you. you. Nice talking Friends, to you. We've just Chuck received word that Tom Kelly is standing by out at the edge of the playing floor with some fans he'd like to introduce. Well, our second quarterfinal game will be getting underway in just a bit. It'll be between Limestone of Bartonville near Peoria and Oak Forest. And I don't know who gets more nervous. I really do. 
The kids probably aren't nearly as nervous as these four people standing here with me. They're the parents of two of the girls that are going to be playing in this ball game this afternoon. Let's meet, first of all, Pat and Lee Sender. They're from Oak Forest, and their daughter, Tammy, is a senior and a starting guard on the basketball team. You are a little bit nervous, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pat Sender. She is a little bit nervous. How about you, Lee? How do you feel about it? Well, the first comment I'd like to make, before the interview, I, I asked you about what the questions would be, and uh, you said, well, don't worry about the questions, but uh, give an honest answer and try to be somewhat modest. So with that, I'd like to say that the uh, Oak Forest team is unbeatable, and they're number one in the state. <laughs> and they may be the tallest basketball team that has ever played in a girls' tournament. This is a tall team, isn't it? Yes, it is, the tallest around. How about Tammy? She's not one of the extremely tall ones, is she? No, Tammy's 5'5". Five, five. But it's kind of a family affair, too. There's a couple of sets of sisters out we there. We have two sets of sisters out there. Mary Stack, Karen Stack, Sue and Nancy Galcanis. They're all fantastic. Tell me about the rest of your family, Pat. I have a boy at Notre Dame. He's a freshman. I have another boy at Oak Forest. He's a sophomore and a fourth grader at Arbor Park. Well, it keeps you busy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You've been going to all the basketball games and taking care of the house. You're a busy lady. I haven't missed a game in three years. Well, that's great. Team has had a great season. Figure they're going to win it. Absolutely, no question. Yeah. Let me meet these other folks over here from Peoria Limestone or Bartonville. Does Lime